Hey guys, even here and we are 7 weeks out of Chicago Pro 2021 and we are starting this video with an update, with a physique update of Hunter Labrada who has gotten even more freaky in this short little off season that he had after Mr. Olympia until now so he's 7 weeks out of a show and this is his conditioning, you can get the idea right here his back is his weakest body part for sure, he knows that, he always has his high carb days before the back day and you can see his glutes and hamstrings and his lower back, so you can get a good idea of what his body fat percent is at right now he's 259 morning weight, so he is big and he is like almost ready, 7 weeks out, he looks 2 weeks out or 3 weeks out so he's definitely gonna be in shape, that's not a worry with Hunter, he has been pretty consistent in his pro career, I mean, those two pro shows that he has done, Tampa Pro and then Mr. Olympia, he brought good level of conditioning and it seems like he's gonna have a great level of conditioning at the Chicago Pro that he might very well win. As you guys know, he's gonna be facing Sergio Oliva and that's gonna be an epic battle, Sergio Oliva versus Hunter Labrada, sons of bodybuilding legends. Also, Akeem Williams, 6 at the Mr. Olympia this year, is allegedly gonna do Chicago Pro, but now it sounds like he's gonna be skipping that show and actually doing Puerto Rico Pro. I wonder why though, I don't know this for a fact, but Ian Valier said this in a podcast, that Akeem is not doing Chicago Pro, but he's doing Puerto Rico, and uh, I'm curious, why would he do that? Is he scared of Sergio Oliva actually beating him and taking away his chance to qualify for the Mr. Olympia? Yes, Sergio was always better than Akeem at all the shows that they have done together, but look at this version of Akeem Williams, this is not what he looked like at the Mr. Olympia, his version of today is much better than this one. So either Akeem is afraid of Sergio's progress, or Akeem is not gonna be at his best this year, or maybe something entirely else, I don't know what is the reason, but it seems like Akeem is not gonna be doing Chicago Pro, it's gonna be between Sergio Oliva and Hunter Labrada. Back to Hunter, so is Hunter gonna be able to win Chicago Pro against Sergio? I think so, I mean Sergio does seem like he has made some progress, but I don't think he made as much progress as Hunter, Hunter is one of the most genetically blessed bodybuilders that I've seen in a while, if you talk about the progress, the rate he's making progress at, that, that, that's one of the most impressive bodybuilders I've seen, so he's making progress really freaking fast, and he is driven as hell, I don't think there are bodybuilders that are more focused, more hardworking, not many, not many of them are there right now in IBB, in Mr. Olympia, at this pro level, high level of shows, so Hunter is definitely one of the hardest working bodybuilders, and I've seen how much he worked, he has been posting videos and photos and everything, so you can all get an idea how much, how hard he's training and everything. We don't know that about Sergio, we know that about Hunter, so if I was a batting man, I would bet on this guy right here to win Chicago Pro, because I'm, I'm sure, I'm positive, he's gonna be better than he was here, and here he was really good. I mean, just this pose right here, I mean, his arm, shoulder, chest, look at the veins, look at the freak factor, this wasn't the case last year, he definitely made some progress, quite a bit of progress, so I'm really curious to see what his end result is gonna be like, his final package, once he trims down all the water and fat, what it's gonna come down to, and in 7 weeks, I expect him to improve a lot and to look absolutely amazing, and to most likely be the winner of this show, if Akeem was doing it, I would bet on Akeem, and I would go with Sergio third, that's my take, I have Hunter and Akeem as better bodybuilders than Sergio, you guys tell me what do you think. Nathan Diasha, a lot of drama with this guy, all those allegations, and him having to go to prison eventually, and uh, all the stuff with the gym as well, so a lot of drama, and not a lot of bodybuilding really, but he is back, he is back and he says he looks better than he looked in a long time, so he is, as you can see right here, 6 weeks out, so is he doing Chicago Pro? No, no, don't worry, Sergio and Hunter, if you're watching this, Nathan is not gonna be doing this show, uh, even if he was doing it, I don't know if he would beat these guys, maybe, maybe not, but it's not really the point, he's not gonna be competing in 6 weeks, he's just saying that his coach tells him that he thinks Nathan can be ready in 6 weeks if he wanted to, though he will be competing in 10 weeks from now in Spain. You guys remember this version of Nathan? This was 2018 New York Pro, where he won, of course, and he was full as a house. 
he couldn't have gotten any fuller than this. And I love this look. I, it wasn't like super crispy conditioned, but he was big and he was really full and he was conditioned enough. He was amazing actually. I love this look. I think this was his best ever. The year after, he did British Grand Prix and he looked way more streamlined. More conditioned, but much smaller, much flatter, not as full. It's also a good look, he won this show as well, of course, but I prefer the older look more. So what he said in a recent podcast is that he is going for that fullness again. And the main thing that's gonna make him fuller and not as uh, streamlined as he was in 2019 is cardio, not doing cardio, the lack of it, really. So he did cardio 2019 and he did no cardio 2018. And this year he's not doing cardio. And at uh, 10 weeks out, he looks like he's 6 weeks out, as he says. He's lifting really heavy, he's fresh because he hasn't been competing last year, so he's gonna look amazing, I have no doubts about that. He has all the confidence that he's gonna be able to win Spain, so he doesn't have to try any other shows, because that's gonna be the last show, I believe, if he misses that one. I think there's another show, but the same weekend but it's a different location, so that show is gonna be his last train, and he thinks he's gonna be winning it, and I think he will, because he's huge right now, and he was, I think, 7th or 8th at the Mr. Olympia at one point, I think in 2018, so now, after 3 years, I'm sure he made some progress, and if he brings back that fullness and that conditioning, he's gonna be hard to beat by anybody, really. Alright, next we have Patrick Moore with not really an update, but an interesting post that he made. So, he compared his 2021 version against his 2019 version, California Pro vs. Mr. Olympia. And he's asking us, what do we think, how much weight did he gain or what is the weight difference? Now, it's interesting that he compared two photos that are <laughs> from entirely different angle. Um, he's way closer to the camera on the photo on the right, the recent photo, and he's way, way more distant in the photo on the left. And also the angle, he's uh, tilted backwards a little bit more, so it's, it's a more flattering angle, make his arms look bigger and his legs as well, and chest too. So uh, the question is, a lot of people are wondering, did he make progress? Did he really get bigger? My assessment, based on that uh, video of him at the California Pro, was that yeah, he did gain muscle, he was bigger. Not a whole lot bigger, but bigger. He did keep the lines though, and he's talking about those lines very often. But this post, I found it very interesting because he, he really um, wants us to think that he gained a lot, a lot of muscle, and it's kind of obvious, and it's kind of silly. I mean, comparing these photos, and one is zoomed in and one is not... I don't know, but uh, yeah, he does look bigger on the photo on the, on the right, but I don't know if it's only the angle, I'm not sure really. So the question was, uh, what is the weight difference? There is a lot of comments, you can read them, but you don't really have to because he didn't really reveal much, he didn't say what is the weight difference, but there was this one comment that said that he is the same weight, only different angle, but his response was uh, wrong, so he's not the same weight. Is he lighter? I don't think so. I'm just curious how much did he gain? And he didn't reveal it yet, but I asked him a question in the comments. He said he's going to be revealing it in, in an interview soon. But uh, considering the fact that he zoomed in the photo on the right so much, I would be guessing that the weight gain is not really that much, really. And he wants us to think that he looks much better, much bigger, but he actually gained very little. So my estimate would be that he gained a few pounds. I don't really know, but yeah, in this photo he looks twice as big, but it's a zoomed in photo, it's a different angle, so you can't really make much from this one photo, but based on his uh, videos from stage, I think he did gain a few pounds, maybe like 10 pounds, 8, 5 to 10 pounds, something like that, that would be my guess. What do you guys think? I'm curious. But don't judge it by this, this comparison right here, because <laughs> it's a different angle, it, it's differently zoomed in, so yeah, it doesn't really help us much. But based on what you saw so far, what do you think, how much muscle did he actually gain? How much weight? Brandon Harding, he wins his show, he wins the regional qualifier, and the next show he has a chance, if he wins that one, to win a pro card. So I'm sure many of you guys know about him, he's sort of an Instagram, YouTube celebrity, and it seems like he's gonna be a good professional 
classic physique bodybuilder because he does have great genetics and he really came in, in an amazing shape. Greg Doucette made a few videos about him losing too much muscle and I kind of got the same impression watching him getting ready. I thought he was basically ready 3-4 weeks out. I didn't know why he was getting so shredded. He did get really freaking lean, but I think he lost some muscle. He definitely did lose some size, some fullness. Was it worth it? I don't think so. I think he would have won this show even if he was a little bit... Uh, a little bit uh, fuller and a little bit less conditioned because he has an amazing shape, he has the genetics, he has everything and classic physique it's not really all about conditioning yeah details matter but it's mainly about the shape the small waist and the symmetry, the flow, the lines he has all that I don't think he needed to, to go this, this low body fat percent because it did cost him some muscle and I hope he's gonna learn a lesson from this because same thing happened to for example Dorian Dorian started his prep at 12 weeks out and 6 weeks out he was ready and he was taking photos once a week so he realized like those last 6 weeks he only lost muscle, he lost very little fat so next time he prepped for 6 weeks and I think Brandon is gonna realize that and do the same thing for his next show and I think he's gonna win his pro card this year and I don't know if he's gonna be competing this year in pro ranks but I think it would be the best if he just uh, won that pro card and he took it easy, you know, went for a full good off-season where he would gain a little bit more muscle and maybe come a little bit fuller with good, decent conditioning, not diet this hard and uh, in pro ranks I think he can do some damage. Definitely, definitely I can see a great potential from Brandon Harding and I want to say congratulations for your win. For the end we have William Bonek with the most recent physique update and yes, he's got basically all of his size back very quickly he is getting ready for Mr. Olympia, he is gonna be at his usual self, I'm sure about that, maybe even better than last year because he had a full off season and uh, I was kind of worried is he gonna be coming back because he did lose a lot of size in the off season, but he probably went off and that means his receptors are fresh now, he probably refreshed his body from all the food and everything, so he's gonna be fresh, he's gonna be probably improved at this year's Mr. Olympia, how well will he place? I'm expecting him to be top 5 again, if all goes well, I don't really see him being much better than that, but I think that's gonna be a great success for him if he uh, nails everything, and I think he will this year. Whatever you guys think about whichever part of this video, tell me down below in the comment section, like this video if you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best guys and bye bye.